Okay, this is Debbie. Debbie has this awful condition that um, I see all the time in here. It is a mechanical dysfunction. It doesn't show up on an X-ray and MRI. And when she came to me, she had pretty debilitating low back pain for how long? How long she had it? Probably about two years. Two years. Two years. And you've tried a bunch of things. Chiropractor, doctors, nothing. Nothing. Nobody can find anything. Yeah. Nobody can find anything. What's wrong with it? Because what's wrong with it doesn't show up. Actually, show up on an X-ray and MRI. So. Um, so, so she had, when I met her, this is, uh, we're about four or five sessions into it, but she had an upslip of her pelvis. It was out, it was rotated out. And then she also had a sacrum that was rotated. So we're stabilizing it. We're putting it back into position. So she couldn't arch back when I met her. Right. And now look at that. She can go all the way back. And then I just asked her to bend forward. And when you do, you said it's a little bit pinchy. And where do you feel that? right in there. So it's so she's pointing right to the base of the sacrum, right in, in here. So the question is, what is that? Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to check and see if maybe it's her, her uh, SI joints referring into there. Go ahead and bend forward. Does that change anything? No. That it makes it worse? It makes it worse. Okay. So now what I want you to do is go ahead and lay on your belly for me. Okay. And what I'm going to do is check her sacrum. So what I'm going to do is put my thumbs right here, and I'm going to have you um, have you go ahead and relax your butt, press up like a cobra, up, 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 up. And she's a little bit twisted. Um, my left thumb's dropping a little bit, so I'm going to rotate it back. So sometimes people with uh, sacral shear pain, that's what that's called, sacral shear pain, the sacrum shears at the base of the spine, and nobody can figure it out what's wrong with them because it doesn't show up on an X-ray and MRI. It's a mechanical dysfunction. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and rotate this back. Let's see if it releases it. Press up. Okay, now go ahead and stand up. And let's see if that relieves it. Careful getting up. Okay, now go ahead and bend forward. Oh, yeah. Much better ready motion. Much oh, yeah. She's like there you go. Full Good. Half and with Debbie, I'm also treating her toe, so I shouldn't mention that. <laughs> I'm also treating her toe. So she didn't even mention her toe until the first few visits, right? And um, she actually had a new joint put in her toe, and she couldn't move it. And uh, actually, what was wrong was a joint capsule. Essentially, this joint capsule, so it's, it's like trying to go like this, go like that. She couldn't, like if you try to bring your hand up and down like that, there's something strangling it. So what we did was you just loosened it up and now go ahead and pick your toe up. Yeah, so she can pick her toe up and she can scrunch it down and she could not do any of that too. So we're fixing a bunch of things with her.